Okay. Uh, for those of you who see um, both these uh, Epic Seven and the uh, Fire Emblem videos, uh, you'll know uh, the Fire Emblem video that that's out earlier today uh, is messed up. And apparently that's because um, I had uh, OBS tracking the mouse. So now you can't see the mouse on the recording anymore, um, which is I don't think is a big deal. Um, but yeah, so... Um, now it's not tracking the mouse, so I'll just be clicking on stuff, and you'll see what uh, whatever it just, just it'll just magically be clicked on. Um, let's take a look at how we're doing. Uh, I actually changed my defense, but before that, let's go take a look at what rank we are. We are one twenty-five, so we're climbing back up again. Um, hopefully, we 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 get back to where we were. At least top one hundred is is what you want to shoot for. Um, da -da -da. So yeah, let's let's go take a look at my defense. See how we're doing. Uh, if I can click on it. So we did in fact get our boy Krau. Um This is my defense that I'm going with. He's on Adamant Shield. I'll, I'll probably show him at the end of the uh, the video. Um, this is the this is the team I wanted to try out. I want to see how this goes, how this turns out. Um, hopefully we can avoid getting uh, a weed because we have the Krau here. Um, but of course it's 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 a bit of a 50-50. Not to mention he also gives immunity. Um, which means that so when she cleanses, you know, you have the immunity on, so it'll last a little, it'll be a little bit better. Um, I forgot what she, oh, she also, and then she also has idols cheer, so if someone decides to hit him, it's fine, because she, she'll be healing, but if they decide to focus her, um, they'll push her up, and then they'll have to deal with, uh, whatever damage she's doing. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of what, what the idea is there, and then of course this team up here is just the same. Um, so there's, so that's that. Uh, the, the video, the summoning video for Crow is should be up today or tomorrow. It's just I had some trouble with the the actual recording of it. Uh, I had a, I messed some stuff up, so I had to go in and, and fix it. Um, and I hate being in the editor, so <laughs> that's why that one's taking a while. Uh, but that should be up soon. So let's just just like take a look at what my Crow can do. Um, I guess I'm gonna hit this. This do we have yeah attack whatever do we don't have a plan so that that and this okay so two two main towers and a side tower um or maybe this one we'll take a look at them but i just want to take a look at what's over here what are we what are we dealing with here um this looks kind of interesting uh, i'm thinking of going you oh you're here you you and where is oxalots he's way down here somewhere okay is this a good idea probably not um i'm gonna boost her up and uh try to not i mean i don't think i'm gonna kill her but do some damage to her um and then just kind of, I have to whittle them down because I have to expend both of her heals. Well, I actually have to expend her um, her biggest heal, which is her S3 first. Once that's gone, I can focus on like trying to one-shot him. Um, and then taking care of her, and then he is probably just going to kill him, unfortunately. But, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully he does enough damage to him that he starts focusing him. Uh, but everybody should be ignoring her until I trigger his S3, or his S2 passive there. Down here, let's do it. Let's bring Crow. Where is Spring You for the defense buff? And then we bring a healer. Uh, if I can find one, where are you? There you are. Okay, so this looks like it'll be fun. Um, yeah, they don't have a healer, so basically every every crow, every horse that crow does is permanent damage. So that's pretty cool. That's kind of what like what, to me what crow was so good in, in in Guild War offense is that he's hard to deal with. Um, like he's hard to prepare for without a healer, right? And you're sacrificing a lot to have a healer on your defense team. That's a lot of damage. That is uh, that is no joke. Let's spread some damage around here. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. 
Okay, so she's gonna heal Crow. I think. He took the most. Okay, so now that's out of the way, I... Oh no, she's actually- oh, did I- I hit him, that's weird. Um, okay, well that, now that's out of the way, I guess. Nothing, uh, cause I thought she was gonna use it on Crow, so... I'm just gonna hit Crow over and over again. See if I get anybody with this. My stun- wow, I, I've hit him with everything. Not only that, but his stun as well, that's pretty crazy to think. Um, he also took quite a bit of damage from that, so I'm wondering. She's probably going to heal him right now in a little bit. Okay, I missed. And I didn't, that was not a lot of damage. Come on, come on, hit him. Okay, so that hit him. Of course, is I wanted to avoid that specific situation. Let's hit you. Okay, so this is going actually pretty poorly, um, unfortunately. This is actually, this this cycling is actually pretty good. They have a, they're like really well speed tuned for some reason. Uh, we'll just have to kill him. He's actually very squishy for some reason, I'm not entirely sure why. Um... So he's dead now, which is bad. Um, so we're probably going to lose this, I think. Ooh, yeah, so that... Yeah, we lost. So let's uh, just yield. That's pretty annoying, um, but it is what it is. Uh, I do wonder, I feel like if I had 6-starred... If I had 6-starred, uh, my Oxalot team might have survived at least one S1, but I don't think that would have won us anything, so that's fine. Uh, that was just a bad team to take into that. Um, yeah, I probably should have taken something a lot safer. Something like this, maybe. Um, but yeah, let's do this. All systems online. Okay, not a whole lot of damage, but of course it's the ramp up and as well as the idea that like, like I said, um... Let's get rid of those defense buffs, hopefully. It's the ramp up as well as the fact that they can't heal any of this damage, so that's good. Okay. Uh oh, that's bad. Uh, I needed to have um, S3 someone because now if I S3, that um, her S3 gives two buff, two debuffs, and I can't like cleanse them both and give the immunity. Uh, but fortunately, it was only one person, so that's cool. Let's get rid of and start hitting you. do this oh cool yeah I forget sometimes her uh, s2 has a chance to, to clear another debuff in addition to the, the first one. Oh my gosh I love Alencia so much these are some of my like favorite units right here is like what happened to my speed buff didn't I hit I thought I hit her that's kind of weird oh I think it was before there we go because okay, so now it's up it doesn't really matter who I hit with that anyway. Okay. Is it you? Ugh. I'm just gonna give him the immunity because I'm getting kind of annoyed here. And I think I, I think that actually costed me an S3 that I could have done, so even doubly so. Cause he's gonna keep getting provoked by her. Over to you. You really are the sixth 
Let's clear uh, Alencia's skill nullifier so that when I think Kral's S3 is up, so his S3 can do something to her. Okay, so now Kral gets to go. Let's burn this. So there you go. So this is this is this is what makes Kral so good. It's just that like you have a lot more damage now. On like bringing a tanky team, you have a lot more damage. Like it's just too good. Crimson Seed, that's a weird uh, artifact to have run on that. Yeah, I really should have like come up with a better team for that first one. Um, that was like an unnecessary loss. But it is what it is. Oh, I should have healed there, but that's fine. What was that? Did you hear that? That was weird. Okay. Just hit her. Let's heal you up. I think she should be dead now. Let's see what this kind of damage we're doing with this. 7k? Not bad. Sounds the draw is pretty disappointing for uh, Crowd's debut. Um, the other uh, teammates he had with him uh, were kind of lacking there. <laughs> um, but of course, that was mainly my fault. So let's hit this guy. Uh, so I kind of like this bottom team again for uh, Crow. I'm just going to bring him down here. Um, let's see if uh, Motmo can have has enough like um, cleansing in her kit because I'm actually kind of worried about like taking all these debuffs because you only do one at a time with her S2, and then her S3. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll see. Hopefully, I can outspeed and then get the immunity up. Down here, we're take we would be taking G Perg, but I guess not. So, take Ruel. and Arby. This looks kind of dumb, but I like it anyway. Single target, single target. Well, she has an AOE, but single target, all three single targets. So I'm just gonna bring you instead. There we go, perfect. That top team is really bad. I, I don't know what's going on with that. Let's see, well maybe maybe that's the plan, right? Let's see if she has like the ability to just one-shot my... Uh, oh, she might, but we'll, we'll see what kind of uh, effectiveness that, um, that girl has. Mm, indeed. Kind of to be expected there. See what kind of damage she's doing. Not too much. Oh, she has. Ah, oh, damn. Who did I put? I put Idol's cheer on somebody. Oh well, that's bad. <laughs> um, that's kind of annoying. Yeah. Uh, we're at. They're out of AOEs, so maybe I can just um. I don't know. Um. I guess I'll heal him. Okay, so we are going to... We'll just hit you. We'll hit you, we'll hit her with this, and then we'll have Arby's S3 go, and then hopefully kill her, if not. Yeah. So let's hit the S3. Okay, and then we get to do this. And then there's that. Okay. There you go. That's that's how you handle that. Uh, this team was just kind of like bad from the start. I mean, I guess it's like the idea is that um, she defense breaks. Uh, what's her name? Um, Lilica defense breaks. And then I don't survive the S1 coming out of the... Uh, what's her name? I don't know. It was just kind of weird.
Okay, so we didn't we didn't manage to outspeed. But let's hit this. Fortunately, we outsped the uh, the what's her name, the girl there, the the fallen CC. Sorry, I get kind of spastic sometimes. Um, okay. So now, hopefully we don't miss this, but we probably will. There's not a whole lot to clear, but uh, the defense buff is nice. And we get to trigger the um, the SSB passive, so there's that. Okay, very nice. Uh, let's just get these off. So now, basically, like that's the, the good thing about taking Krau into um, Dizzy. If you have like enough um, like cleansing and stuff like that, you can just kind of like like this, right? The follow-up stuff doesn't really affect you very much because you have immunity now. Let's hit you again. Uh, unfortunately, I feel like it's odd to me always when uh, people aren't running um, Ayelas on their dizzies because I feel like that's kind of the way to go. Especially if you don't have a cleanser. Like if you had dizzy. With maybe an Alencia to cleanse that stuff, like, semi-consistently, then I'd understand, right? But the thing is, they don't. Alrighty, cool. So there, this is what I'm talking about. It's like, not every turn, but almost every turn you're going to have the S3, depending on bringing, her into certain, bringing him into certain situations. There you go. Already we're immunity. Our immunity's back up again, right? So now the fact that Dizzy doesn't have... Um, her a or her uh, her debuffs anymore is like a huge boon to us. And she's dead. We're gonna hit this dizzy. Um, just to get her to counter, uh, but I don't think she's on counter considering how fast she was. There you go. Uh, the mighty Crow shows us what he can do. Eight thousand damage on a, on an S three. It's not bad. Like I said, especially like they don't have a healer. It's it's just uh, you're basically just it's just free damage essentially. <laughs> if anybody, those of you who like to play uh, Apex Legends. Um, I do that. I, I play, I play the game uh, quite a uh, quite a bit. But the what always amuses me, uh, to myself anyway, uh, is you have Evo shields. Let's see. I kind of like what's going on here. Um, I just go in there with that. Why not? Um, I like Evo shields in that game because the more you know, it encourages more engagement because um, you want to upgrade your shield more. Uh, but uh, I'm not very good at it, so sometimes you know <laughs> you're you're playing right, and you just see people. I, I like to run with a sniper most of the time, so I'll have a sniper, and I'll just be like taking pot shots on pe at people uh, off in the distance somewhere. Um, but yeah, I mean it's that's that's I'm always saying it's free damage, uh, just hitting someone just to get that little bit of damage on your shield. <laughs> but uh, we end up dying sometimes, so. It's not so free a lot of the time. Okay. This is, I'm gonna heal her because I want that crowd to focus on him exactly. Because eventually he's gonna get to the point where he's gonna S3. Um, and what I want him to do is S3 the Arbiter. Because if he S3s her, he might she might just die. Like she'll probably just die. Okay. Let's see if I can get her, get him to go below fifty here. Okay, there you go. Okay, so he's gonna kill the, he's gonna kill the arbiter. He's gonna revive, and then uh, I get to do 
some free casting here. There we go, perfect. And the miss, thank you. Of course she's gonna S3 something. I forgot who she's gonna S3 the crow, I think. That's pretty annoying. Yeah. It's better than uh, S3 the uh, herself, I guess. Fortunately I have a lot of AoE, so this is good. There you go, perfect. Exactly what I was hoping would happen. Um Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so now he's cleansed the immunity off of himself that now I can hit both of them at the same time. This is this is this could not have gone better. Um it's actually pretty good. Uh let's see. Can can he survive that? I think he can. It doesn't even matter if if, uh, if he taunts me either, because I mean, I'm, there's no one else to hit anyway, other than like they're the ones I'm, I'm looking to hit. Uh, let's do. So his, his three isn't up, but let's hit him anyway with this. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, come on, don't die. Thank you. Okay, no more defense buff. Oof. Ugh. Well, fortunately, it's just going to be the Tenebria, which isn't too bad. I think my Arbiter's actually, his, his revive is up again. Ah, oh, please don't kill him. Or, if, yeah, please kill him if the, Ar if the revive is up. No, the Arbiter revive is not up. Uh, let's just revive him. Okay. Let's uh, soul burn this so we can kill you. And then kill you. And then Arbiter should just clean up. Let's heal her just in case. <laughs> just in case. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Took a little longer than I feel like it should have. Oh my gosh, she's not dead yet. Took a little longer than I feel like it should have, but uh, it's fine regardless. Okay, let's see what we're doing down here. Can I take a hit like this? Should be able to. Like, if... I feel like if Alencia can take this, he can? Yeah, okay. Unfortunately, we're going to have to hit into this uh, barrier, which is kind of annoying. If we lose this, it'll be on speed, like they were too fast. Because uh, now he's going to do this, and he might... Okay, he didn't kill him, which is good. Let's do this. Get this defense buff up. Okay, let's get him the, the major heal and then we'll S2 now. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Unfortunately, Krause is going to be taking the brunt of all this uh, of all this damage here. There you go. Okay. Hopefully, we get. Yep, we got the heal. And he's dead. Cool. Um, then I get this, and I get the, the barrier, which is perfect. Oh, I need to heal him. 
Oh, shit. Okay, so I missed both times, which kind of sucks. Kill you. Yeah, this team is very fast. Why don't you just surrender? We're not gonna be able to survive his S3, so let's focus on someone else here. Okay, let's try let's try this now. Okay. She can survive this, I think. Yeah, this is a particularly hard hitting um uh what's his name? Okay. Fuck, dude. Oh my gosh. Pardon the language, but gosh damn, dude. All systems online. It's already twice that this um this MLCC has blocked my S3. And I'm going to take this. I think he's going to die. I think this is over. Yeah, we lost this on speed. We keep getting outsped by everything. Like this is this is not going very well. And I think, see, not only that, but I think this Arbiter's Revive is back up. No, but it's going to be soon. Come on, please kill him. Thank goodness. Okay. So we couldn't survive that much damage, but... Uh, oof, that is some... That is some serious... Uh, seriously close there. Just hit you. All right, let's have some fun. I'll show you how I do things. Okay, we are out of, um, Yeah, this team is really fast. Let's defy the odds. Oh, let's just kill her. Hopefully, um, this Riolu doesn't kill anybody. Okay, um, of course they hit the one I didn't want him to hit. Find out if he's dead. Well, he will be now because uh, he's gonna S1 me and I'm gonna die. Yeah. Fortunately, this is the last one, so we're uh, we'll be all right, I think. Let's get this defense buff up. I actually wasn't paying attention. Does she have? Does he have life steal? Okay. Let's uh. Let's heal her to max. Hopefully, he'll switch targets. I don't know who who he'll target. Uh, if not, okay. So no one's gonna die from this. So that's good. But they might die from what's gonna happen next. Uh, burning doesn't do anything other than the increased defense, but I just need to kill him. There you go, cool. 
So we still won. Fortunately, we lost Crow, but that's kind of the way it goes when you've got uh, three dark damage dealers. Or three... You got three dark uh, threats hitting you. Uh, two of them being uh, very prominent <laughs> damage dealers. Um, but hopefully, uh, you guys all got to see how strong Crow, uh, ML Crow can be. Um, that first team was just so bad, um, looking back at it. So we'll take a look at my um, ML Crow here for a second. So this is what it looks like, um, 30, plus 30 animants. Uh, of course, there's no, um, I don't have any imprints. Uh, this is not maxed because I'm not going to put any points into his S1. Because it's not worth it because you don't use him for the S1 and all it does is damage and you're not running crit, so it's not doing any damage. Um, but the reason I haven't... Uh, Boosted his S3 to or his S2 to the max. Uh, so it's, for one, it's five molas, but also on top of that, I just want to you know I'll, I'll wait to farm his friendship up, uh, and then um, yeah, and then from there have this uh, be maxed out later, um, which will give me three. It'll give me three free molas, and all I have to do is pay two for this fifteen percent. So that's kind of what I'm waiting for there. Could this have helped me? I feel like it would have. Like the, the missing the fifteen percent. It, it was like you know it would have been better to have but i don't know if i i don't know if uh, he would have survived that one um he did he did die by just barely like just looking at it it was a 50 50 whether he would die or not so maybe it would have um he would have taken less damage over the course of the of the fight uh, this is this is the stats uh two uh 200 attack 2000 attack i mean which is basically what i said in my video 2000 attack um 25k uh, hp at least 13k, uh, 1300 defense, but I got 16, so it's pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, my speed is a little lacking. I mentioned the lower end of your speed, you wanted to be 220 at least. Um, and, and you saw there how not having the 220 kind of like hurt me quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I really, you know, that fight really basically just confirmed. I really feel like 220 is the lower end you want to reach, but of course I don't have the best speed gear. Um, I do have a decent amount of HP, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I think with some like with some uh, health imprints uh, he could easily reach like 26k and then you know upgrading stuff and getting better gear and all that stuff might be able to push him up to 20 I, I want to push 28 28 with speed boots at 220 I mean look at this boot 36% HP right um, you know ideally is 28 when you get max imprints and, and you know just like better even even further better um, gear and all that stuff um, but it's like it's kind of hard because I'm already pushing higher end like stats. Like look at this, 31% HP, 36% uh, there. This this one's kind of garbage, but I just was like whatever, <laughs> just boosted it. Defense is high and and I can always use attack. The speed is abysmally low. So, um, but yeah, so this is already like the max HP you can get here, and then you know, this this effectiveness can you know I guess you know going forward uh, this effectiveness can be like flat health, so that can help. Um, this can obviously roll a lot better, um, more focused on health and speed. Uh, and this helmet's actually kind of bad, but uh, didn't really have anything else that had uh, decent speed and health as well as defense. Um, but there you go. Like you can see, where there's a, there's a few leaks, but there's not like I'm like I said, I'm already pushing like a higher end level of like what his HP can can get. Uh, getting up to 28 is going to take like you know serious gear, um, but it'll t you know it'll take time. It'll take time. Um, but yeah, so this, like I said, this is this is my this is the crowd. Um, I went with adamant shield. I've been seeing a lot of people running around with uh, uh, portrait of the saviors. I think portraits decent, but um, yeah, I think portraits decent, but it's not like people like his damage is not portrait damage. It's not you're gonna like sweep a whole team real quick with him. His damage is, is consistent and over time, and you know, especially like in Guild War, you know, over time doesn't really mesh well with the portrait. Um, you wanna you wanna like they'll be they'll be below, and by the time you know, but you know, it's kind of 50-50, right? I guess, because when they're over fifty, you're doing you know the, the the initial hits are getting boosted by the portrait, uh, but then you know as their health gets lower and turns go forward, you know the the scaling on his S three takes over. I just think it'd be better to have something that's active like all the time rather than um, just like at the beginning 
Uh, but like I said, you know, that could be a good thing too. You know, you, you're, you're pushing them, you're hitting hard at the beginning. And then once the, the game drags on later, as the scaling picks up on your S3, then there you go. You don't notice the fact that you don't have the, um, the portrait damage anymore. And even then, if, if, if they have a lot of healing, then you're not only getting the portrait and the regular damage. So it's not like the worst thing in the world. I just personally, uh, rather prefer something else. Um, Something that I, I was thinking of running was maybe Steadfast Gatekeeper, but I think at that point, like Steadfast Gatekeeper and um, Crown of Glory. Uh, but I think it, like these activate and they, they give you pretty good benefits based on when, when your enemy AoEs, right? So when they AoE, they, t they lose five souls. Um, when they AoE, you get boosted uh, 6% um, or you know further, depending on, on when it's maxed. Uh, I think it's 8% at max, 8% uh, uh, CR. I think those are good and they're they're great on him, but I think it's overkill. Like as you saw that fight where I had I fought against Dizzy and um, SSB, like my S three was up like every other turn, right? Uh, I think like you've already got too much advantage in that situation. Like when they're AOEing a lot, putting something like this on is overkill. Like you need something for when they're not AOEing, and I think either like the Adam and Shield is good because it's you know just damage reduction. Um, the Hillag's Lance is pretty good because, like, the way the count, the way people counter him is by just like focusing a single target damage. However, the problem being, right, um, the single target damage is never like they're not going to hit someone else; they're going to hit him. They want to get rid of him first, right? So that's kind of like why Hillag's isn't as good to me is because no one's ever going to like fight against him and be like, "Oh, well," like an RTA, they'd be like, "Oh, well, uh, he's he's running the crowd." So I better single target someone that's not Crowl. Now they're just gonna try to kill Crowl as fast as possible, or or pick a bunch of um, pick a bunch of like single target and just kind of just burn him down from there. Uh, but yeah, I mean that's really all you can run. I mean you could run Aureus, but he's not tanky enough to like just soak up all that damage the same way like a regular Crowl is. The thing about regular Crowl is that like he's okay hanging out at low HP because then you just want to horse with him, um, and then if he dies after that, that's okay. But Crowl really wants to last like the entire fight, so you don't want too much damage being thrown onto him, which is why I went with the Adam and Shield instead. Um, what else is there? Yeah, I mean, it's not a whole lot else. I mean, this isn't very useful. Um, it's good to have the effect resistance, but when, when you're at low health, you're they're just going to kill you. <laughs> they're not going to try to CC you anymore. Um, this, of course, is uh, for bosses and such. Uh, but yeah, like the Holy Sack might be fine but it's really just better on crow anyway um what else i guess that's it basically not a whole lot of uh, artifacts you might want to run on him let's go look at um, the artifact journal but yeah this is what i want this is what i want on him uh i also pair him as you saw at the beginning there i pair him with specter tenebria so it's just a way of bringing more damage mitigation so that like while he not only does it give a shield he also gives a um damage reduction for people like who are not getting hit right um which is good kind of if you want to look at some numbers right if i if adam and shield reduced their uh their incoming damage their crit damage by half it means that all your shields that you're giving out are doubled so they're like you know because it's got it takes twice the effort to get through them because their damage is being reduced by half i just use that to make it like sort of a clean number uh Real, and realistically, I don't know how to how much it, how how to multiply your HP by. I think I mean it might just be as simple as like multiplying it by one point one points by one point one six, um, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, in any case, you multiply your 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 health your your shields that you're giving out when you give out damage reduction. So because Adam and Shield reduces by sixteen percent, uh, your shields are now worth more than they would be without it. Um, so that's something to consider. Uh, another one, this is actually pretty good because it basically turns him into like if you don't have uh, regular CC, just take this like or, or you know yeah just take it. Uh, tr try to get this and Crow and you're basically solid, right? Because chances are he's gonna go, he's gonna be one of the people who goes first, um, and then he gives out you know AOE. Everybody gets a gets a shield, um, but then someone's getting a really big shield because of the. Um, the rise of the monarch thing which i think might be just like the best probably best in slot for him um yeah i might i might go as far as to say probably best in slot if you want him to be like a good tank basically he with this on he basically just takes up like he basically replaces a lot of what uh, mlcc does um but uh yeah that's kind of 
an interesting an interesting point to consider, I think. Um, but yeah, so let's see what else do we have here. Yeah, so this is gonna be one of the better ones. Um, I, I think it's interesting this exists because it, it really annoys me because it basically just <laughs> makes this invalid a lot of the time. Um, sure, like. Funnily enough, like it's important to have the uh, the shield. For one, this is a this is a bigger shield. It can be up to thirty percent, right? Um, and the first turn shield is the most important shield anyway. Like even before, like because this one's active going into the battle, and this one requires your tank, whoever's giving the shield, to go as soon as possible. So I understand like the differences and why one might be better than the other. And I'm not saying like oh, uh, Rise of the Monarch just invalidates Bastion of Perlusia. They're they're good for different situations, good good for different purposes, and all that stuff. But um, it does kind of irritate me that Rise of the Monarch just kind of replaces itself constantly, like uh, CC's passive. And it's also two turns, like two turns every single time your unit takes a turn. Whereas this is like two turns at the beginning, and then there you go, it's gone for the rest of the match. Um, but yeah, so that's something to consider. Uh, did I do I feel like regret for not having pulled on the um, the banner they had Rise of the Monarch? Eh, not necessarily. Um, it's a good artifact, and, and again, again, like I said, I, I would like it eventually, but it's not its not like that big a deal. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll probably get it eventually. Uh, but yeah, for right now, I like the Adamant Shield. It's, uh, it, it's a good damage reduction tool as, as it stands. Um, but of course, you want like the, like, these stats are no joke, like, the fact that you get like almost 200 more off of uh, the animate sheet or that that one is nothing to sneeze at. Like it's important to remember that they also come with stats, uh, and you really want like a five star artifact on your on your um, on your knight to maximize that. Some people I think have been running him on Albris, which I think is like you don't get anything out of his S1 other than the speed buff, and it's like do you really need the speed buff that fast that like you want to like let them like you want to S3. And then hope that like you know somebody procs your Elbrus, which they might not, because they're probably just going to focus Crow. Um, and then you get the S three, or you get the S one off because you got the Elbrus. And then you get you know you're halfway down the CR bar, and all you want is the speed buff for the second half of the CR bar. Like it's not gonna, it's not really gonna make much of a difference. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's kind of the way I see it. Just as Frawl looks kind of interesting if you want him to be kind of like a solo tanker because. Uh, not, not solo tanker, but like if you want to put the adamant or the aureus on someone else, um, this one looks pretty good on him because you know you can get a bunch of stuff like attack, defense, speed. You already get here to get speed, um, critical hit chance, which is good because you're running, you're not focusing crit chance. So if you get the crit chance buff, um, there you go. That's free crit chance. That's fifty percent. Mine's at forty something, so now he's at ninety because of the crit chance. Uh, immunity, immunity uh, barrier, and. Uh, yeah, immunity barrier and speed are, are like that's half of them kind of already taken up by what you can do already um but the rest of these are pretty good too so continuous healing as well as the crit chance resistance is all right but like i said justice for all just doesn't really have a very much of a place right now um i think what might make it better is if they made it so that it checks the hero you're using and doesn't give you buffs that that hero already grants um yeah i think that might be one of the better things to to go with um like if they were to buff this maybe make it two turns as well is it two turns i think it is already two turns actually never mind uh two turns yeah okay uh but yeah or maybe make it like at the beginning of the turn as well i don't know we're getting into theory crafting it's just a guild war video and talking about crow uh but yeah so i'll probably have some um now that i have crow i really want to use them in as much as i can so i'm probably gonna uh, have some RTA footage and I also have to get into RTA before uh, the season ends so I can get that uh, skin. I don't have Athletica and I'm not going to pull for Athletica because I don't have, I mean, for one, I don't have any more Mystic Medals. Um, but for two, even if I did have them, I wouldn't burn a pity on her because I don't have the gear for an Athletica. Like, I have the gear for a Last Rider Crow, right? Because, you know, I have a bunch of Bruiser gear, decently fast Bruiser gear. Uh, but I don't have the gear for an Athletica. Oh, he has 44. I thought he had 42. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I don't have the gear for an, an Athletica, so she's like, I'm going to get her. She's going to go right into like storage uh, and not see the light of day for a long time while I get speed gear. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, kind of, I think you want to shoot for these stats. Uh, you can, like the attack isn't so big a deal. I just like the attack because, you know, his S3 also scales with attack. Not a whole lot, mind you, but uh, it does. So, you know, it's good to consider. Uh, as well as, yeah, just anything. I mean, you know, 
Is he a great counter to SSB? Not necessarily. Um, he has to go first, uh, which sometimes, you know, it's kind of easy. He has to go before her, which is, like I said, it's kind of easy. Not that big a deal. Mm. Uh, but the deep, the buff block is really a bad thing, and um, the defense break is pretty bad as well. Uh, just know that her, like, she, she can do some serious, like, her S2... Basically, just it makes your barrier irrelevant because his barrier at max, the one like with my HP now, I think it's ten percent. So it's only like let's pretend it's I have twenty six thousand. So that's two thousand six hundred barrier. Her S two alone does double that, and that's not even including like the damage you're getting from the defense pen of Rengars. So like, right, last rider crow into into her isn't very useful if you can't kill the um, the SSB very fast. Uh, like in Guild War, it's easier because it's only three and you're doing whatever. But if you're if we're, if we're talking about like um, RTA, um, you know you don't you don't get to choose who comes. Like if you take Crow, you don't get to choose who comes with Crow. So you know uh, every time because you know like you're, there's counter picking and, and banning and all that stuff. So uh, an RTA Last Rider Crow with SSB could be kind of interesting. Um, the fact that you're running two units. That heavily dis discourage AOE damage dealing could kind of bite you in the ass because then they're just gonna run like single target and then you know whatever. Uh, but I think Last Rider Crow with S10A is a good combination because it's gonna be hard to deal with that. Like you can't AOE, uh, but single target against S10A just gets consumed. Like you just get eaten up. Like it's not, it's not good. Um, but yeah, anyway. So like I said, something to be considered. Um, you know, hopefully. You guys enjoyed this, and uh, I got to show, show off some interesting gear and, and whatnot. Um, like I said, I want to now now that I'm I'm very close. I want to hit twenty six thousand HP. Um, I don't know if uh, I really don't want to burn slates on a non limited unit, but I, I like I'm really liking Crow because I was I've been using him in regular arena as well. I've been really I've been really enjoying using Crow, and uh, as you saw there, he basically guaranteed a win in every fight he was in. Um, so you know. Might be it's kind of tempting to 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 want to just put slates into him and, and max out his um his passive. I might just give him one just to get the uh, the six percent because uh, as always uh, the six percent is better than the than the three percent, right? So that's something to consider because uh, after 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 that first initial one, everything is just three percent all the way down. Um, but yeah, so that first six percent is going to be really helpful. But yeah, anyway, like I said. Uh, the video's getting kind of long. Hopefully you guys enjoyed um, watching Crow do what Crow does. Uh, it took a little while, but uh, here he is, finally. Um, so yeah, that'll be it till, uh, I think, tomorrow. Um, I don't know about, I don't know if I have, well, I don't have a video planned for Tuesdays ever, so the the summoning video is probably going to be out on Tuesday, and then I might do some RTA and, and upload that then, but we'll see how that goes.